YouTube! What's up, everyone? Today's video, I have an unbreakable lock for you, Pendulum Lock, but guess what? It's not Endymion, and it's not me either. I ranked up with this on ranked, and look at my hand, so broken. But this lock blew my mind of all decks. It's the most shitter deck of all Pendulum decks. Sorry, Valance enthusiasts. It's Valance! Valance puts up a serious unbreakable board he can't even play. And it's not even just Secret Village. I, I don't even want to ruin it. Just watch this video. This is unbreakable going first. And if I have trouble breaking this, I can only imagine what purely can do to this. They can't do anything. Against purely, this deck auto obliterates it. You got to see this replay because it's absolutely insane. Also, before we get into this video, I want you guys to see the most beautiful card ever made in history. It's actually about to summon it very soon. I don't know anything about Veilance, but there's one pension card that I know everything about. It might not be Veilance, but you're about to witness the most sexy card in all of Macedo. You guys are ready for this? You guys are not ready for this. Oh my God, it's coming. More things than one is about to come. You guys ready for this? Look at this. It's coming right now. A royal finish. Electromite. It's the most beautiful card I ever laid eyes on. Royal finish, Electromite. Give this card to me, Macedo. I will spend all my gems to get this one card. Stay tuned for the whole video. This lock is going to blow your mind. All you got to do is get to Electromite. If you get to Electromite, you have the full combo. And it's a full-fledged lock that's protected by every which way. You can't target the lock. You can't destroy it by battle. You can't use spells. You can't special summon. You, 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 you can't do shit. It's ridiculous. So many cards protect it too. And I was on the receiving end of this incredible combo. Also, I want you guys to comment down below if you guys want to see more Master Roll videos. I want you to like the smash the like button and follow and subscribe if you guys want to see more. Because I have a whole bunch of amazing Master Roll replays that I would love to share with you guys. It would be a shame if the world, YouTube world, did not see all these incredible replays and only Twitch could see them. I would love for the, uh, my YouTube friends could also see them as well. So let's see what this does. This is a very typical, and you always get access to Majesty Pegasus, whether it's through Electromite or Beyond the Pendulum. Keep in mind, each of them search a literal pendulum. So you could either search for the pendulum you need, like the scale you need, or the lock with any of them. So you always have the combo no matter what. And then it ends on Selene. Uh, you, you, it's so good, you have to discard Ash Blossom, because who cares about Ash Blossom when your opponent can't use spells, can't special summon monsters, can't do anything. And now this is where it gets crazy. So Pegasus is a level four as that Valence monster. Go to Gallant Granite. Gallant Granite searches Fossil Dyna. You do not normal summon. And then you're going to put some Valence monsters. You're going to go Sprite Elf right where Dyna is. So you can't target the Fossil Dyna. Let's say, for example, I draw Widow Anchor. I draw Talon. Uh, not Talon, but I can't use. I mean, I have spells. Econ, any spell. Imperm. It protects from Imperm. You cannot target Fossil Dyna because it's under Elf. You cannot destroy Dyna by battle because it's protected by Perform Power Duelist over here. Extras extraordinary whatever it's called so if i normal summon a card as i'm about to i'm about to summon magical abductor i can't even activate spells either because secret village the only way i can activate spells is by playing a spellcaster luckily my whole deck is spellcasters so right here i should be able to clear the lock but because it's protected by secret village i can't wait now it's protected by battle so i can't i literally cannot pen summon so if i enter battle with abductor it's protected by this. And if I activate a, I could activate a spell, but I don't have anything. Now, let's say, for example, I draw Widow Anchor. Okay, let's say, all right, well, you physically cannot use Widow Anchor. Enemy Controller is a better example or Impermanence. I physically cannot do that because of Sprite Elf protecting you from being targeted. This is a lock that's seriously unbeatable. I end up drawing Engage. As you guys know, I play Sky Strikers, my Endymion. And let's say, for example, in a, in a, in a beautiful world here, where I could get rid of the Adductor. I go Engage, get Widow. Widow could take this. And then I could like tribute it or something, or neg I can negate it, but I can't target it because of elf. The only answer is evenly, and no one main decks evenly. So this is just an unreal lock. I can't do shit. There's, and it's so consistent because Electromite is legal and Beyond the Pendulum is legal in the same format where Majesty Pegasus is legal with Selene legal. Oh my God. You could literally just do it anything you want. There's no, no answer. No one play because it's the best of one, no one plays cards like Sphere Mode or Evenly or whatever, except for those shitter decks that literally Sphere Mode and do nothing. So you already win against those. And now there's no answer. I could Mighty Master the whole board, but I can't because I can't Pen Summon. I could Servant, Special Reflection, or Jackal, but I can't because I can't Special anything. If Pen Summon, I can't. My only answer is enter Battle Phase and hope that he has no spells in his deck for this. Enter Battle, he just protects it. Angriness, if that's a word, I just leave. I'm like, I what a combo. This is probably the coolest lock for Pendulums that are not real Pendulums, like not Endymion or Magicians or something, but just Baylance. Like, Baylance could do this with any hands, which is ridiculous. Before we end the video, I want you guys to see his deck because let's see this this master class let's get straight into his deck list now this is his deck extremely consistent plays hand traps as well we saw him discard dash plays the lava golem it's good that he's playing lava golem because the deck does not normal summon but because of small world you actually play four lava golem and because of prosperity it's like you play five lava golem it's actually really cool he actually does play the evenly which little buddy's prepared for everything <laughs> 
He probably had some duel in ranked where someone evenly him and he just crossed the designators. What a, this guy's ready for everything. And it's very cool how you, you play a lot of defensive cards. You have three Ash, three Maxi, double call by the talents, the cross out, the prosperity with the small being a defensive card, getting Lava Golem. And you saw how consistent it was. All you need to do is get to Electromite. And if you get to Electromite, you win. And thanks to Small World, you, it also counts as getting two Electromite. So very nice. I got to give kudos to him. Playing double beyond the pendulum, that's an interesting one. But I'm sure there's scenarios in simplified game states where you will need it in a game like in a deck like this that does not have too many pendulums. Uh, would I play this over Endymion? F absolutely fuck not. Wasn't even English. Fuck no, not fuck not. Anyways, this is the deck. Uh, do I like my deck more? Yes. But this is a very cool deck if you play Valance. Especially you could capitalize on a pop one, which wasn't used in that combo. But if you guys play Valance, check this deck list out. Uh, it doesn't have the Pen God seal of approval because it beat me. And that's reason enough to respect someone. They beat you. And he beat me fair and square. And he didn't even do it with Maxi. He did it because his deck. Thank you guys for watching the video. This is a super cool pendulum lock. And what's ending a pendulum video without showcasing my deck? So for those that have not seen my deck yet, I'm going to show you guys my deck right now. Which, judging by all the other Mastodon videos we posted, you should know by now. It's the best deck in the game. This is our updated deck. It's made specifically to destroy purely, which is why we're playing Call By. A lot of people are playing Droll because of purely. I don't think Droll is super crazy against purely, but uh, a lot of uh, purely players are playing Droll. So you need to make sure to protect it with your called by because this deck gets obliterated by Droll badly. Uh, of course, for Maxi as well. So this is strictly there for Droll and Maxi. Sometimes when you get Ash Blossom, if you could tell in the standby phase that they have Maxi, never called by the Ash. This deck plays around Ash like it's baby food. Ash, Veiler, Imperm, those cards do nothing against this deck. I have a video where I played through three Impermanences and he had evenly as well in his turn. Three Impermanent evenly. I still had five negates. Not good enough, buddy. Uh, we play Zeus because we play five Steel cards and double engaged Talents and Widow to take the xyz format cards shangri la any xyz from pearly and make our own zeus on top after we steal it also it comes up with dark where you could dark in xyz uh it's not big but i mean whatever in the simplified game states whatever and underworld goddess is there in scenarios where uh you let them have the five material purely a lot of people some people will literally just never activate the purely noir uh when it has five materials knowing they're safe a lot of people just keep it and that, sometimes it's the right play a lot of the times it's the correct play but by just having this in your extra deck you ensure that they can't do that so the towers is kind of towers no more you play freely until you get to this and and pendulum you just fucking pen some and you could make that you could make this card very easily and it does come out of mascarena these cards are obviously made for each other it's like younger sister and older sister it kind of looks like and i'm a big fan of these uh we cut Selene to three to two but i do really want to play Selene at three uh the reason why is a big part of this deck is absolute vortex cross sheep uh it, it puts up some crazy boards we might need to remove the cross sheep uh, to make space for these artemis comes up occasionally when you hard draw the knowledge uh or times with engage where you want to like normal blue boy first uh let's say it gets hand trapped then it's stuck and you can't use engage you can always go artemis and then engage uh but extra deck is tight double selene is fine if you're not going into cross sheep but if you're going to the cross sheep combo you do need three i think the best thing for this now is you could potentially remove this cross sheep or an artemis or even a third selene and just have massive follow-up but cross sheep is uh, i don't think you can remove cross sheep but that's just too damn good that's a deck that's the video that's an incredible lock from my opponent uh pendulum pendulum violence but the next time we duel on rank, I'll destroy you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment below if you want to see more Master Duel videos. Like the video if you love it. I love you guys. Thank you guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Now, a royal finish.